What's up guys, Matt with 86 Gaming and Gamdius has entered the ultra wide mouse mat arena and they came in swinging hard with this. Now I use the MM300 by Corsair. I have two of them for both my rigs at home and uh, they are nice. They're more of a speed mat where this is more of a control mat. So this is a nice entry in the market. If you're looking for something control, let's take a look at it. The Nix P1 has a little bit to offer for those of us that demand a little bit more control over our mouse, where a silky, smooth speed mat might be a little more not your style if you're somebody that requires the most accurate of movements, and this will help you with that. And what I mean by that is it's interwoven fabrics, and this kind of helps to grab the mouse feet, and I say that, use it loosely, to give you a little bit more control over where you're moving the mouse. This is important to a lot of people that do low resolution DPIs or need to snipe, or you need that really as accurate as possible in order to get that shot off or try to do what you need to do. Where it's probably less applicable to people who play MOBA games where you, the speed is all that matters. Getting around, flicking, all that stuff, that's more important to you. Somebody who wants a little bit more control or does things that demand a little bit more control play either at a really high dpi with a lot more control or play at lower resolution dpis the interwoven fabrics kind of help you to hold still on the mat while you're moving where the silky smooth of the mm300 will just sort of slide loosely it's nice you can pretty much slide it down like you're sliding a drink down a bar but not so much on this which is good there's a few things about it uh worth mentioning it's a little bit boring i'm not gonna lie you've got a uh, Pretty much a screen printed black. The big Gamdius logo at the bottom looks great, but the icons that represent their plethora of products, the top left, are a little bit poorly screen printed on there. So that was a little bit like, oh, that's sort of, sort of lackluster. Now it's a three millimeter thickness, which kind of makes it nice because it's nice and low profile with a nice stitching on the outside that just looks gorgeous on it. And it's, it's just really on par i think with the mm300 the price point of this i think is around 26 dollars right now but if it's anything like competitors in the market hopefully that price will go down over time or you can find it on sale or as a deal of a day or inclusion with other products at purchase that would be pretty cool usually a mouse mat is sort of the last thing we think of we get our hardware for our pc pick out our aesthetics our lighting our monitors our speakers our headsets our mouse our keyboard and then we look down and go oh i don't have a mouse pad what what do i want in a mouse pad and a lot of us just don't care too much to think too hard about what we want in a mouse pad that's where some people and some people may care but that's where some people stop and think like well i'll try different things because usually mouse mats mouse pads they're not very expensive and you can get some pretty affordable pretty neat stuff but that's where it really kind of matters of are you looking for control are you looking for speed are you looking for aesthetics are you looking for an aluminum pad if you're looking for a good control mat which it seems to be is harder to find on the market for a good price then maybe something like this is for you uh, I like it a lot. I like speed a little bit better. I'll probably stick to my MM300, but the thing is that this is an, an excellent mouse pad, and I plan on uh, setting it up on another rig soon, and it'll be there for that purpose. So it's it's kind of hard to say if I were to pick between the two of them. Um, I like them both, but I, I, in fact, I love them both. I just love them for different reasons. And, and when it comes down to personal preference, a speed pad is a little more my style. It's a little more my thing and what I like. Anyways, let's get back talking about it. Three millimeter thickness, like I started to say, is a nice low profile, a lot like the MM300, which means that you're not dealing with something that's bulky and lifted up and sitting on a thick rubber pad like my old Rose Wheel one was. That one was uncomfortable to use, and uh, I eventually retired it. I'm fairly certain it's discontinued now. Uh, the nice length of it, 900 millimeters, I believe, is a little bit shorter than 930 millimeters of the MM300, but it's the same width at 300 millimeters wide, and that gives you just the perfect setup, I think, on the desk. It's just a nice mat that can hold the desk, and it holds well with the grips on the bottom, and of course, with the help of a keyboard that's going to make everything just shine. It's a little bit plain and boring with the black stitching and just the black mat itself. I'd like to have seen maybe some more colors in there, something to kind of liven it up. Not necessarily big colors, but just something to bring it a little more life. Considering the MM300 with its nice grayscale, its screen print looks amazing, the, the style and design looks great. I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more from Gamdius here, but, you know, it, it doesn't look bad. It's just, it just screams black. It's just black, really, for the most part, with, with a light Gamdius logo and the white icons at the top that are a little poorly uh, applied to it. And other than that, I mean, what else can you say? It's just, it's a great mouse pad. If you're interested in something control related, like the Nix P1 mouse pad here, I would recommend checking it out. I'll put a link down below if you're interested in checking it out. And I'm glad to see that this is good because I feel like the last few Gamdius things I looked at, I more or less designated a flop. So I like seeing them not just throw crap products and actually put a little bit of thought and effort into it. And when they introduce an extended mouse pad, 
that is a control mouse mat and it just looks great and it feels great maybe a little boring to look at but it's it's on par with what I would have expected from something like Razer's Goliathus and I like it a lot now again mouse mats mouse pads are usually not the top thing we think about but they are for some people more important than others for a lot of people they're just a flavor option something to put down something to have on your desk but if it comes down to something that can actually help with performance that's important and the Nix P1 control extended mouse pad does help with performance and it's just woven very well one thing I'm not a hundred percent confirmation on it's designed to last a lifetime and if that's the case does that mean there's a lifetime warranty on it because I couldn't find anything that specifically said that that meant there was a lifetime warranty but perhaps um perhaps it is i don't know i guess we'll find out i'll ask them about that i'll be sure and send them a message and i'll post down below as well because that's kind of impressive too especially if something happens to it over the course of its lifespan it starts to fray or starts to get destroyed or worn out things we'll know as time goes on using it anyways guys have a great day night whatever it is i'll see you in the next videos that i do